how would you describe your 18 year old self when you arrived on <laughs> campus? Okay, let's just say we've come a long way. <laughs> so I specifically remember saying, you know what? I'm out of high school. I'm in college. I know what I want. I know what I want for my life. And this is it. I'm here to do nutrition. I'm going to get a job and I'm going to live in Stearns County. And this is what I want. And boy, was I wrong (laughs) on every level. Um, I look at who I was as a freshman from the friends I hung out with, the experiences I had, what was important to me, um, to what it is now, the conversations and just how those first friendships really now are lifelong friendships Mm -hmm. um, and just how we've grown together. And it's really those relationships that I was able to grow through that sense of community that St. Ben's does so well. Well, mm-hmm. one of the Benedictine values that, um, yes, that's definitely really stuck with me. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I thought I, I thought I, I had, I thought I knew what I wanted in, in so many ways, but St. Ben's really showed me that there's so much more to life and so much more to the world and so much to be experienced. Mm-hmm. So life is full of choices, as you know, how yes. has St. Ben's impacted some of the big choices you have made? Yes. I would say that it makes me think of the bigger picture in a global perspective and something greater than myself. Mm. Um, You know, one of the biggest changes I'm going through right now is moving my family to Kenya. And one of the biggest reasons that that is a huge opportunity that I'm seizing right now is because I have the ability to make a bigger impact from a global perspective. Mm -hmm. So within James's unique village, but also within Nairobi and still working with people here in the U S and partnering with them, um, and really giving back, um, you know, I would say that's the biggest piece because, you know, when you're a freshman, it's just like, or a first year, you know, what can I do today? And what can I go shopping for? And what do I need for my dorm? And just these very simplistic things. Whereas now that's not on my radar. Mm -hmm. It's what gives me passion, what Mm. motivates me, what makes me a better person? How can I help others? Because that's truly what gives me life. So the other unique thing about St. Ben's, of course, is that it's all women. Yes. So what impact did that have on you and kind of helping you find your voice? Mm -hmm. I would say, um, you know, to be honest, it's, it's less intimidating when we're among women, right? Because we have many similarities. And sometimes when there's men in the room, there's a certain vulnerability that we don't want to express. And so it allowed us to be vulnerable in certain situations, but grow from that experience. And it also taught me what a tribe of women can do for you Mm -hmm. and how this tribe of women who I still have with me today that literally gives me chills, and it's, it's really about empowering them to be the best that they can be and creating solid foundations with women that I don't believe you could get at these co-ed universities. You know, we still had our exposures to the Johnnies, of course, right? Mm-hmm. But it's, it's truly that on-campus experience with women um, that allowed you to dig deeper and really get in touch with yourself on a different level. Mm-hmm. I remember to this day that... Mm-hmm. You come out of high school mm-hmm. and you show up at St. Ben's mm-hmm. and they call you women yes. from day one. Women, yes. And that was so empowering. Right? So empowering. I am yeah. a woman. Yeah. And just that term and just the way they're treated, you know, it's it's just you look across the room at like any of our gatherings, you know, presidential breakfasts and, and things like that. And you're like, I have this tribe of women that are rooting for me. Mm-hmm. And, there's, and there's so many ways we can look in history and how women have been, you know, have had lesser opportunities or have have not been given the same opportunities as men. And and of course, we can still do better in our world. But when you're among women and all of them are successful Mm -hmm. and all of them are doing something with their life Mm -hmm. and the leader at the podium giving the speech, the president is a woman, that is so empowering. Mm -hmm.